Disclaimer. Throughout the whole of this video, there is an overlocker tail sticking out of this seam. We are not going to mention it. Okay? Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got a good old fashioned fabric haul for you. <laughs> Shall we begin? Because we've got a little bit to get through. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a fabric haul, I think. <laughs> Although I have shown you some new fabrics in some other videos recently. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of the things that I have uh, received recently. Um, we're gonna start off with this beautiful um, piece of jersey. So the first few fabrics I'm gonna show you are from Wattle and Slate. Now I've spoken about them a little bit on this channel before. Um, I am a strike sewist for Wattle and Slate. So I've paid for all of these things that I'm showing you myself. Um, but at the start of every round, they're a custom group. So I'll link the video that I talk about custom groups here. Um, so basically they have a set of prints that they run for a short amount of time that you can pre-order and then it all gets sent to the printer and then it comes to you like six weeks later. Um, and I get one of the prints at the start of the round to like sew up and show what it could look like for people um but as i said all of these i've been bought i've bought with my own money um this is a beautiful um collaboration piece i guess with a company called ember bloom art uh, which is a one woman band <laughs> um one woman show um who makes these beautiful ink paintings um and this is the first uh print that's run with Watson Slate. Uh, Watson Slate do have a website now but most of their work is done through their Facebook page so if you join their Facebook page which I'll link below and check out their website um, for any rounds that are that are coming at the minute. So I've only bought half a meter of this. It's super wide Um, I think it's 160 wide their jerseys and um, I bought it because I wanted to make the front panel of a Doris skirt by masusu patterns because i think that um it's like a color blocked front skirt with black everywhere else will look really cool i'm not 100 percent sure if half a meter is long enough so i need to print the pattern um but because it's only the front panel which is only going to be you know 40 45 centimeters wide i'm gonna have a whole bunch more left and i'm thinking I might have enough to make just a little camisole top. The Camisado, no, the Cartagena cami um, by Itch to Stitch or a cami that I'm making at the minute as a pattern test would look really cool um, in this. So you use fold over elastic for the straps so you don't need very much of it. And I think that will look kind of fun. So possibly that, possibly a pair of pants out of it, but it's like a beautiful soft cotton lycra. So. I'm excited by that one. Now, the other two I've got from them are actually the same print because what Watson Slate do is they have a number of different prints and then you can choose which fabric base you print them on. They have like eight or 10 bases that you can choose. So I have this, it's called Inky Skies and I bet it's not gonna show up very well on camera. Um, oh, it's showing up okay. It's a black base with this beautiful kind of nebula, spacey, feel to it um, in teal and purple and when I saw this print I was super excited because <laughs> that's quite me isn't it um, and I kind of wish I'd bought it in all of the bases to be honest because it would be really cool for everything but I bought it in a bamboo jersey I bought two meters of this um, which is kind of like a viscose jersey a bamboo jersey it's super soft um, and it's printed really well. I know that sometimes like a black base doesn't print very well. As you can see, it's quite lightweight. Um, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's a lightweight jersey, um, a little bit see-through. But I think I'm going to make myself a Joni dress with this. Um, I think it would just be really nice to have like a darker base Joni dress by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, and it will drape really beautifully because of the kind of lightweightness of it. So... I'm excited by that but it might not get made for a little while um and then I've got it in muslin now 
The muslin base, I guess, is really popular for people to make like baby blankets or baby sick blankets. <laughs> Burp cloths, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and But I got sent a little sample of this uh, base um, when I first was a strike sewer. It's just a tiny like square. And it was so soft and so lovely that I thought, hey, this isn't just for babies. <laughs> and I think I'm going to make myself a Kokowawa Crafts coconut top tip. It's morning and I'm struggling with my words. <laughs> um from this because I just think it will be like a super lovely soft lightweight gorgeous um, and I definitely want more of their fabrics in muslin um, and I need some more top recommendations for muslin for women <laughs> um, because yeah it's just such a lovely base and super soft I think some of the muslin you get like in physical shops in the UK that I've seen is a quite sort of stiff but from the custom groups where they wherever they send it off to be printed it's just really lovely and soft i've got some from some us custom groups as well um that i really like and to be honest it would be super tempting i mean probably not this this because it's black and i've only got a meter of this so not enough anyway but it'd be really nice just as a really simple skirt like a gathered skirt even on an elastic um waistband which i'm gonna experiment with soon um yeah it would be just like a really nice summer like floaty thing so that's in two bases so they're the ones i've got from from Waterland and slate um the next one i've got is actually from a d stash so i got this from gabadashery um so gabby who has a vlog but hasn't vlogged in a little while um but it's very active on instagram did a d stash recently and this had to come home to me um a beautiful teal cotton with these pink embroidered lines through it um i think there's three meters of this but it's quite narrow and i'm not sure what i'm going to make with it yet but i would like to make a dress if i have enough because it's just a beautiful color and needs to be something gorgeous um, so there's that one now that was folded up interestingly and you'll notice that I'm in it filming in a different place today so if you've been following me on Instagram you'll know that my sewing space has moved is moving has moved um literally just after reorganizing my sewing space and getting everything up on the wall that I wanted um me and my husband decided that actually it made a lot more sense for me to take over the bigger room which was currently the spare room and the spare room's moved into the sewing room, um, the old sewing room. And I'm in a bit of process of it being sorted at the minute. So I I can now sew in it, <laughs> but there's a lot to do. And I am going to be filming a vlog for you all about it. Um, but I've been storing my fabrics a little differently. So these are all wrapped around comic board backs, comic book boards. <laughs> I told you I'm struggling today um, because of how I'm storing my fabrics now. So... I've been a little bit unsure about whether to film I, I filmed a vlog talking about like why the move was happening and my plans and it was just so rambly and didn't have any like I couldn't show you anything at the time because everything hadn't happened um so I didn't put it out but I'm wondering about filming a sort of in progress vlog to show you where I'm at and then show you a tour because I also think there'll be a specific video about how I'm using a, a an ikea wardrobe to store fabrics and things as a separate video so i don't want to overwhelm you with like my sewing space but let me know what you think so anyway <laughs> this is a gorgeous viscose from um textile brothers who have a facebook page and they're like a, quite a cheap affordable fabric shop and i bought this as a bit of an experiment um mostly because multi-star prints like multi-size star prints aren't very common um and their fabrics were three pounds a meter this is a viscose it's three pounds a meter plus like three pound postage i think so 12 pound for three meters and it's really lovely so i've ordered from them again um my friend wanted a summer dress i'm looking at the rain right now i'm wondering why and um, by the time it was beautifully sunny um 
and I ordered from them again because yeah it was it was really good quality um so I have three meters of this which is quite unusual for me and it fills me with like dread and fear sometimes because I'm like I must use all of the three meters I must make something that that makes the most of the fact I've actually bought more which is kind of silly because I could make anything I want um I'm pondering making the sewing massin Sicily slip dress um I need to toil it I have some other viscose to toil it in um but it's like a bias cut uh slip dress like very 90s style that you could wear on its own to be sort of like quite slinky or with a t-shirt underneath to be a bit more crunch <laughs> yeah um and I think this would look really cool as that so that might go to that that needs two meters I think in my sense I think it actually needs two meters and five centimeters but like I, I, I'm worried that that means that's quite accurate because I have two meters of the other Vis uh, viscose that I'm going to try it in so we shall see um the next fabric I bought with my in a haystack discount code so it is this gorgeous no it was up the right way the first time um it's just a quilting cotton by dear Stella um I bought it from eternal maker and it has gorgeous cats in the garden now this sold out super quick the first time um that it was in stock so when it came back I bought a meter and I'm kind of gutted I didn't buy a meter and a half because I think this would be really cute as a gathered skirt um with like a t-shirt tucked in but I think what I'm gonna do is make a color blocked um melo shirt with one side in this and one side plain black uh, because I think it will be really cute and I'm hoping I might have enough left over to stash in my like future bra um fabric stash because i'm getting quite close to a well-fitting bra so it's good to have some cool fabric stored um then i have a fabric from diy or die leads um who are an awesome new fabric shop who are i'm gonna like pop their details down below but basically they're like queer fat inclusive inclusive awesome and um they even do a pay it forward scheme where if you have the money um, all of their fabrics are really affordable and if you have the money you can pay a little bit extra into the pay it forward scheme and then they give vouchers out to people who um who aren't able to purchase the fabrics themselves um for whatever reason so i obviously had to buy this this is probably going to become a washi i was going to make a well actually the washi has changed its name this is going to be a really long vlog because i keep coming across other things to talk about um the made by ray washi dress which i posted a vlog about a little while ago is now called the made by ray trillium dress and um i will probably go back and change the title of that vlog um and the description later um and i'll link a blog post as to why that is the case down below um but i was thinking about making this into a trillium dress but I'm wondering about making a trillium top. I have two meters of this. It's really wide. It's 150 wide. So I could easily make the dress. But I'm thinking about making the top. I think it might just get a little bit more wear. I think. Um, but I think this was like £6 a meter or something. It's, it's a really affordable shop. So you should definitely go check them out. Um, this is a gorgeous uh, fabric from... Uh, I can't remember who it's from cotton and steel um which is this gorgeous like lime yellow like fluorescent yellow and blue stars and splatters um which i bought a meter and a half of i think um from fabric hq who were closing down and this was like everything was like five or six pounds a meter so yeah i'm excited by that i bought everything that they <laughs> had left and um no idea what I'm going to make. Again, it could be a trillium because I do really need just some like day dresses um, that kind of go well with cardigans. Oh, and I forgot this one, which was also from Maternal Maker with the discount from the Haystack pack. This gorgeous Ruby Star. Ruby Star? I think. Rayon, um, which I just had to have, didn't I? I don't know what it's going to become yet, but it's gorgeous. Then the one cheeky thing I bought... <laughs> one of the upsides of uh 
redoing the sewing room other than the fact i get a much bigger sewing space is that we've done quite a few trips to ikea and uh i found this in the bargain bin at ikea it was like a quid and uh yeah i bought three cushion covers one had the cushion insert in it and i'm really tempted to to see if i can uh, tetris a pair of shorts from it but i know i should just leave it as cushions so but flint shorts and this would be super cool they're 50 by 50 so they're quite big it means i've kind of got like a meter and a half ish or probably a, a full meter um width but anyway what do you think shorts or cushions thank you so much for watching guys and until next time bye